Egg Boy is back and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a classic French omelette. This is actually a recipe I've been wanting to do for several years now. It's just I haven't had access to non-stick cookware that was healthy because it's very very difficult to make an omelette in a cast iron pan, in a carbon steel pan, unless you're like an expert at keeping the pan seasoned. So we have some green pan skillets. I do have these on my Amazon shop. Yeah, I mean, I despise Amazon, but you know, I, I can't make everything, guys. So these are pretty good as long as you don't keep the heat too high. They have the least amount of chemicals and toxins that I'm aware of when you want to do things more conveniently, like cook eggs, make pancakes without having to really maintain a pan. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. Just eggs, butter, and salt. You could add milk, cream, creme fraiche, chives, whatever you like to your eggs, cheese, raw cheddar from Frankie's orange meat, that would be delicious. But this is the simple, basic, classic French omelet with butter and eggs. <laughs> Very fitting, we do have French butter, but anything from your local farm, organic, grass-fed, is all an excellent choice. And these are the eggs. We have Nally available on Frankie's for range meat along with our Bolivian Rose Mountain Spring Salt. So we're just going to do a two egg omelet um, because we have a small pan here and we're going to turn the pan on a medium heat. Now the amount of heat you want to use has to do with your patience. If you want the most delicious soft omelet go low heat it's going to take you 15-20 minutes to make it. If you go medium heat you know, it'll take you a few minutes but and it'll be good. If you go high heat, which is what the restaurants usually use, the eggs are going to be a bit harder. It might take a little more technique, so you can mess around with each of those ways. So the eggs we have are some of the healthiest looking I've ever seen, and we did a comparison video yesterday if you want to see them versus regular supermarket, Whole Foods, organic brands. But, you know, if you have a local farm nearby and they have corn and soy free eggs, of course you can get it there. But if you guys want to support me, we do have them available online, so hopefully we can continue to provide you guys with high quality animal products. I'm just gonna scramble these with a fork. You now, sometimes people use an immersion blender, they wanna get the eggs really nice and fluffy and aerated, but uh, anything that has cholesterol in it, especially eggs, you, know, you can oxidize the fats very, very quickly. If you throw these eggs in a blender and let them go for a minute or two, you're gonna smell like the fishy oxidation. Maybe a tablespoon of butter here. So just make sure you coat the pan with a nice amount of butter. Tiny pinch of salt in the eggs before they go in the pan. Now what you want to do here is basically pretend you're making scrambled eggs. And then when the eggs are about half scrambled or you think you have just enough to cover the pan entirely, that's when you stop. This looks okay. So now after I scramble those eggs, I spread it out evenly in the pan. I'm gonna go along the sides. And then you can you know, take the pan off and on the heat because you don't wanna cook the bottom too much, but you need the top to sort of cook through so we can turn this into an omelet. This runny egg on top, when we fold the omelet and finish it, that's gonna be really delicious when we have it mixed with some butter inside of the omelet. That's what's gonna make it really, really delicious. So just a little more butter on top. You wanna to kinda of shake the omelet down into the bottom of the pan. And then that can be flipped over onto itself. So we flip it about halfway in. We shake it down to the bottom of the pan again. Then we're just gonna flip this onto the plate. Just like that. Now I haven't done this in a while, so of course if you put more time and effort into this, if you practice a little bit, if you take more time cooking it on a lower heat, you know, you'll have a nicer product, it'll be more presentable, but that's yeah, just an omelet. You know, you're cooking for your family or you're trying to make a three Michelin star dinner, that's up to you. Hello YouTube people, I'm here to have some delicious eggs my brother made me. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. I know you guys have been missing Gina and you haven't seen her in I think a few months now, but Mmm, delicious. Mm. Now, when you guys do a good job, you know, the inside of the omelet should have a lot of runny egg and butter and stuff. 
So there's no real need to add, you know, cheese or cream or milk or that stuff, but it would still be very, very delicious. Yeah, and I just know my brother Frank got a haircut now. His hair is nice and ray fuzzy. <laughs> it's the only hair that I don't like it. No. And it's very suiting because we launched eggs this week on Frank B. Syringe Meat, and my head is now shaped like an egg. But he's got a really perfectly shaped head, so ladies, if you want to date this handsome guy, he's single. We're working on that, Gina. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You guys can support me further by checking out all of my businesses on frank defauercom Get some eggs from Frankie Syringe Meat if you like. And if you and if you would like to see more of me, please subscribe to his channel. Subscribe. I'll try to get, I'll try to get Gina in more of the videos. So let's say bye to the YouTube bye, people. Bye Gina. YouTube people. Sorry I have no makeup on. I kind of look like <laughs>